Hey there, Cerise here. Thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to share this with you. I received it from my buddy Rico. Rico has a YouTube channel that he started like seven years ago, I think, but he recently did a video today, uh, yesterday. By the time this is up, it will probably be tomorrow. So this is the um, new, oh yeah, by the way, his channel is uh, called Toro Prospect perspective something like that total perspective or something so sorry i'm gonna ask him for it and i'll get back to you guys on it but you'll find him because just put in sosua and rico now right he he sent me this information and i found it just now on the internet as well now i wasn't gonna read all of it but i decided to read it just so i can give you guys a heads up okay so the first stage is going to be the first stage um of reopening things here is going to be happening on May 11th with the opening of vehicle dealers, mechanical workshops, and small businesses. The second stage would be scheduled to start on June 1st and includes the opening of beauty salons, barber shops, commerce, and advertising. However, the businesses, the business sectors have requested that this opening be brought forward one week so that families can acquire the gifts for the Mother's Day for Mother's Day to be celebrated on Sunday, May 31st. That is before the proposed date for the opening of the markets. So Mother's Day is very important here. It's very much like Christmas. It's a day that is celebrated with glee and beauty and everyone dresses up, lots of food, families get together. It is amazing. So the shops and the stores are asking that people, that everything be opened up a week before May 31st. All right. Oh, no, no, it's, yeah, a week before May 31st. All right. So the third stage is scheduled for June 22nd. And in this period, the incremental reactivation of the economy would be contemplated. Now, that sounds a little sketchy right there. Um, they're not saying what the third stage is. It's just saying that it's scheduled for the 22nd for contemplation. So I guess that's when they're going to talk about it. Also, during this phase, the holding of the presidential and, oh, okay, congressional elections scheduled for July 5th is planned. See, there's going to be a lot going on at that time. So you have right there June 22nd um, for, the, for the third stage, but then right July 35th, that's when the government elections are happening for the president. So they're pretty serious, uh, you know, elections going on at that time. It was already held over and now it's going to be July 5th. All right. The fourth stage would open travel agencies, hotels and restaurants starting on August 10th. And the fifth stage would include shopping malls, bars, discos, gyms, among others. Now I'm wondering why they didn't say airports. They said travel agencies. The fourth, fourth stage would open travel agencies, hotels, and restaurants. Okay, yeah, I guess that would include traveling here if hotels are open. Um, so that sounds like August 10th, but it could change, right? And discos, August 10th, that's pretty encouraging. That means social distancing will is being predicted to end by that time because you can't really go to a disco without having um, closeness, social closeness. Okay, this week is an interview for, sorry, this week in an interview for Dario Libre, the economy minister, and uh, please forgive me, it's difficult to read these last names sometimes, Juan Ariel Jimenez, uh, let me try harder. He Jimenez, Jimenez, Jimenez confirmed that the plan was being worked on and clarified that the Dominican economy was not completely closed. 
and evaluating what the government has done. The Dominican economy is not completely closed. We allow activity, agriculture, and industrial activity, those of the free zones, essential commerce, such as supermarkets, pharmacies, mining, said Jimenez. So let's say there is a percentage of economic activity that has never been closed. What has been done is limited. In other words, no more than 50% of the workers have been told at the same time they have to establish hygiene and safety protocols, said the official. So it looks like it's the end of it. But guys, I just wanted to give you the update on that. You know, um, it's important to know what's going on around the world. It's nice to know that hotels and restaurants and everything, discos and everything will be open for August 10th. It kind of gives us a good date. Um, it doesn't mean it's going to stick that way. But I think if any if everyone pays attention to everything right now, does the social distancing, but also is aware that there's some going out that needs to happen, right? Like they say, the only way this virus will go away completely is if everyone kind of hoards and, and, and immunity builds in everyone. How can immunity build if everyone's in the house? So I think that's what they're preparing for, the economies, the, the countries. I think they're preparing people for less social distancing and more hand washing care and mask care and glove care. Okay, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. Thank you so much for joining me. And it's only a six-minute video. Six minutes. Six minutes. Dougie Fresh here on, on, on. Do you guys remember that rap song from back in the day? Um, anyway, it's a short one, so it might go up tonight. Okay, today's May 1st, so it would be nice if it was uploaded. But I've been knowing, noticing lately with the uh, slowdown of the YouTube employees they laid off a lot of people the videos are not getting uploaded as quickly um so just want to let you guys know that but i still try to put out as many as i can to keep you guys busy while you are doing your thing Alrighty, thank you for watching thank you for listening if you have any stories for me for story time please let me know please stay safe and stay home stay in if you're sick don't go around anywhere if you need someone to do something for you let a neighbor know if you don't have anyone to do anything for you i'm pretty sure you could probably call your local community number in canada it's 311 and you could probably get some help from somewhere thank you everyone have a wonderful day